Our next sample will be for uh, the moment distribution method. So, for example, we have this beam loaded as shown. We assume the AI to be constant and assume the moment of inertia to be equal to a one a unit. So, what are the factors needed uh, for the analysis of moment or yes, for this method, the moment distribution will be needing the stiffness a factor of all members. Alright, so we have how to compute for the stiffness factor. This is equal to the moment of inertia divided by the uh, length. So, for example, we have span uh, AB or BA. Okay, the stiffness factor for member AB that is the same as the stiffness factor for member uh, BA is equal to okay, the moment of inertia is assumed to be 1 divided by the length. We have uh, 5 meters equal to 0 0.20. Then we have, okay, for the span uh, BC, this is the same as the stiffness factor for member uh, CB, that is equal to 1 over, okay, the length of the span is equal to 4 meters, and is equal to 0 0.25. After uh, computing for the stiffness factor, we have the distribution factor. Alright, so for the distribution factor, I then is equal to I the, the stiffness factor of the given span divided by the summation of the stiffness factor of all the span connected to a given uh, joint. Uh, to connected to a given joint. So for example, at joint uh, A, the distribution factor for member AB, that is the only member, we have okay, as you can see for, for a fixed support. Okay, the designated distribution factor for a fixed support is a zero. Okay, this is for a fixed support. Okay, then we have the distribution factor for member BA is equal to okay, the stiffness for member BA. This is divided by the summation of all the stiffness a factor of the spans connected to joint okay, joint B. So we having the values, what is the stiffness factor for member BA? That is 1 over 5. We have 1 over 5 or 0 0.20. This is 0 0.20 divided by what are the members or the span connected to BA up to joint B? We have that is a BA and BC. So we have what is the stiffness factor for BA that is 0 0.20 plus the stiffness factor for member BC we have 0 0.5 but this is 0 0.25 so we have the distribution factor for member BA so we will do we have 0 0.444 so this will be the distribution factor for member BA then we have so after a BA, we proceed to the distribution factor from member BC. This is equal to the stiffness factor of member BC divided by the summation of the stiffness factors of all spans connected to joint or the joint B. We have the distribution factor for member BC that is equal to we have 0 0.25. This is divided by members connected to joint B. We have BA and BC. BA 0 0.20, BC 0 0.20, okay, 0 0.25. So we have the distribution factor for member BC is now equal to and we have 0 0.5506. Then we have the last span that will be the distribution factor for member CB is equal to 0 for a reason it is a a fixed support. Okay, so after we determine or we uh, after computing the stiffness factor and uh, the distribution factors, okay, let us compute the fixed and moments per uh, per span.
And we have the span AB, okay, it carries a concentrated load of 80 kN. So we have the fixed end moment of, on the left, we assume that to be a negative since that is a okay, counterclockwise. So fixed end moment for member AB is called a negative, this is the PA. Uh, B squared divided by L squared. So again, can we uh, look for the formula for uh, the fixed end moments for the different uh, types of uh, loadings? So we have this is negative 80. What is our A? That is the span on or this distance on the left. We have 3. This is on the side. We have 2 squared. This is divided by the length of that span 5 meters squared. So we have a the fixed end moment for member AB. So we have the steel load, uh, negative 38.4 kilonewton meter. So this is our fixed end moment for span uh, AB. Okay, so we have uh, the fixed end moment for member BA, right, this is the moment on the right support, assumed to be clockwise, so that will be positive. So, this is the same as P, and we have A squared B divided by L squared. So, we have this is 80 kN. What is our A? We have 3 squared. I multiplied by 2, this is divided by 5 squared. So this is the value of the fixed end moment for span BA. So we have the value of 50 is equal to 57 point as 6 kilo newtons, kilo newton a meter. Right, then we have span BC. So let's compute for the fixed end moment for span BC. That is a moment on the left side that is assumed to be counterclockwise and negative. So by formula, this is equal to omega and the length squared divided by this is divided by uh, 12. So we have the fixed end moment for span BC is equal to negative 16 and length of 4 squared. This is divided by 12. Fixed end moment. For span BC. Right, so we have negative. It's negative 21.333 kilonewton a meter. Right, as you can see, for uniform loading, uh, this moment is numerically equal to this uh, moment on the right end, but opposite end uh, sign. So you have the fixed end moment for the span CB is the same as. 21.333 kilonewton a meter. That will be positive since it is assumed to be clockwise. Okay, so we have the fixed end moments. We have the distribution factor. Let us uh, tabulate the values for the moment distribution. Okay, so we have here the tabulated values of Right, we have the distribution factor for A and uh, A, B, and uh, C, B to be 0 for fixed supports. We have a B, A, 0 0.444. Then for B, C, 0 0.556. Uh, so fixed at moment for A, B is negative 38.4. For a B, A, that is equal to 57.6. For B, C, we have 21.333. And C, B, 21.333. So passive and uh, negative. So our first thing to do uh, after this... Uh, after computing this uh, distribution factors and fixed end moments, we are to do the first uh, distribution.
Okay, so for the first distribution moment, that is the same as the distribution factor multiplied by the fixed end uh, moment. Okay, for uh, one span uh, joint. For example, at joint A, we have only one span connected at that joint. We have span uh, AB. So for the first uh, distribution, that is 0 times uh, negative 38.4. This is the same as uh, 0. The same on the other member, that is uh, CB. We have 0 times 21.333 is the same as uh, 0. But for cases that you have a joint with two or uh, more than uh, more than one member, for example, we have joint B. Okay, so for joint B, uh, let us uh, have the summation of the moments. That is 57.6 plus, or uh, this is negative 21.33. So this will be equal to... It is uh, 57.6 plus negative 21.333. So we're having a value of uh, 36.267. So uh, if, if we are doing the, the distribution of moment, we are doing balancing the moment. We need to balance the moments on a given uh, joint. So how to determine the moment balance for a uh, joint B? If we have an excess of positive 36.267, that is the excess moment, how do we balance that? We need a negative power. We take the, the opposite sign of the excess moment, so negative 36.267. Alright? So this will be our moment balance. Then we are to distribute that excess moment for a uh, two member BA and member BC. So, how do we do that? We are to use the distribution factor. So, for example, for the first distribution, again, this is uh, under the first distribution, the moment for member BA is, again, distribution factor, we have 0 0.444. This is modified by, okay, the moment balance, negative 36.267. So, we have the moment BA for the first distribution, 0 0.44 of negative 32.267 is equal to negative uh, negative 36, not 32. Okay, negative 36.267 times 0.444 is negative 16.103. So that will be the first distribution for member uh, B8. We have negative 16. 0.103 kilonewton meter. Alright, then we have for the moment for span BC, that is your distribution factor, we have 0 point, 0 0.55 as uh, 6. Then multiplied by the moment balance, this is negative 36.260 as uh, 7. So what will be the moment for span BC for the first? This is for the first distribution. We have 0 0.556 times negative 36.267. Uh, and we have the value of negative 20 point uh, 164. So this is negative 20 point uh, 164. So that will be our first distribution. After doing the uh, distribution, we are to carry over the moments on the other end of the beam. So, for example, we are considering this span, and with this uh, moment, let's say this is the moment for member IJ, we are to carry over one half of that moment IJ on the other end. Okay, right, that's the carryover moment. In the same way, if we have this moment, for example, moment uh, JI, we are to carry over one half of that moment uh, JI. Okay, to the other end. So that is the carryover moment. We are to transfer one half on the other end. So we have for the carryover moment. So what is the other end of member AB? The other member, uh, other end is okay, BA. So what happens here is the same as here. Then what is the other end of member BA? We have that is uh, AB. We are to transfer half of Okay, negative 16.10. Negative uh, 16.103 times 1 half. So we have this equal to 
Okay, we have negative eight point zero fifty two kilonewton meter. Then we have for span BC. What is the other half? Other end of span BC. The rest we have span CB. We have negative twenty point one sixty four multiplied by point five. So this is about negative ten point zero eighty two. And half of zero is the same as zero. Okay. Then we have uh, after uh, doing the carryover moment, we are now to do the second distribution. So for the second distribution, okay. So for a one span joint, so again a joint A, we have only one span, that is span AB. All we have to do is distribution factor times the moment. We have zero times this value is zero. The same with CB, zero times negative. 10.802 is also 0. Now, if we are to balance a B, as you can see, we don't have any more moment to be balanced. So, it's the same as 0 plus 0, the same as a 0. If we are able to attain this, uh, these values on a distribution, we may now compute for the summation of moments by simply uh, computing for the summation of the moments. So, let us uh, do the summation from the fixed end moment up to the last distribution. That is negative 38.4. I okay, plus, okay, we have negative 8.0 to uh, 52. So we have negative. Uh, this is already the end moments. Our okay, negative 46. Point. It's negative 46.452. So negative uh, 46.452, that will be the moment at A. Then uh, we have 57.6 uh, minus 16.103. Uh, that will be equal to negative 41. Uh, positive 41.497 uh, That will be the moment for the span BA at joint B Then we have, this is, we have negative 21.333 Plus negative 20.164 <coughs> So this is negative 41.497 uh, As you can see we have at joint B I, we should have the same value or they should, this moment should be numerically equal but opposite in sign for equilibrium. Then we have for span CB that is equal to 21 point uh, 333 uh, plus we have negative 10.082. We have the moment this is positive 11 point uh, 251. So if you are to uh, identify our moments we have the moment at A is now equal to negative 46.452 kilonewton meter. Okay, the moment at B, obviously, that will be the same as a negative bending moment. Uh, this is a negative bending moment. If you are to check the actual sign of the moment at point B, that will be a negative moment. If you are to draw the moment diagram, that is negative. We have negative 41.497 kilonewton meter. And lastly, we have the moment at C is equal to 11.251 kilonewton meter. So these are the moments I for supports moment at A, moment at B, and moment at C. So this, uh, this is our first example for the moment distribution method.